Hey, Christian with Mission here, and I'm here to talk about this beautiful coffee in front of us, Columbia Pink Bourbon. So you can see that our Pink Bourbon is a little dressed up, a little different than it normally is, and it's got this little seal on it, meaning that it's a limited batch, and I just decided to match the bag because I'm weird, whatever. But what's fun about this is the variety that's in here. This is pink for bone. And this doesn't mean it's not gonna be approachable, but it's something that's pretty rare. The place where this coffee is cultivated the most is in a little region called Pitolito in Huila, Colombia. And they found this variety pretty much by accident. So they were going through his father's farm, he being Rodrigo Sanchez, the producer of this coffee, um, and found this really interesting variety that ripened to a pink color. And normally coffee either ripens to yellow or ripens to red. Kind of separated it out, planted a small lot of it, and it had these really interesting floral characteristics, sweet, really bright acidity. And it kind of had uh, flavor notes that are more similar to things like geisha coffee, Tipica, African coffees. And so it's really, really intense in the cup profile. Um, it's actually one of their favorite coffees that we cupped this year. Um, the other special thing about this coffee is the way that it's processed. So we know coffee is ripe when we can see it to a certain color, but we can also test it with a Brix meter. And if you've ever brewed beer, you use the same thing uh, to kind of test the sugar content of the whatever you're testing. These coffees are picked at 28 Brix, which is a very high sugar content. And then what happens is that it's fermented in a slow controlled environment, so around 10 to 13 degrees Celsius, so pretty cool environment. And it's allowed to ferment for 76 hours and then pulped, washed, and then dried in a very slow uh, environment. And what that does is it kind of adds all these unique characteristics and unique florals to this coffee. We say that it tastes like raspberry, lime, and floral. It'll be one of the most unique coffees that you've had all year. And please note, this is a limited batch. We only have one green bag, so about 153 pounds of it. So if you're into awesome coffees, I definitely suggest checking it out either in our cafe or buy a bag online or in the store.